Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to construct ellipse using the rectangle method. I'm going to explain it using this example, draw an ellipse by using the rectangle method, taking the major axis as uh, 180 millimeter and the minor axis as 120 millimeter. As the first step, you should draw the rectangle with the uh, 180 millimeter length and 120 millimeter wide. Okay, let's uh, draw the rectangle. Okay, uh, this is the rectangle. Okay, let's uh, mark this point as uh, A and the B. Let's mark this uh, ellipse end as O and let's mark this point as C and uh, D. Uh, next step, I'm going to divide this AO line into uh, uh, five equal segments. So you can use any uh, number of uh, segments. Uh, so uh, this uh, vertical line also we have to divide into a five equal number of segments. Same number of segments we have to use to divide this uh, both the line okay to divide this uh, you know how to divide the line into a equal uh, number of segments so draw the inclined line like this first of all i'm going to divide this inclined line into a equal uh, number five equal number of uh, segments i'm going to use the compass to divide this one okay. then uh, join these two points We okay, then draw the uh, parallel line passing through this uh, point to this uh, line. Okay, so I'm going to use the set squares to draw that one. Okay, keep the two uh, set squares like this. Then uh, by holding this uh, set square, slide this one like this up to this uh, point. Then draw this, uh, mark this point. Then next step, we have to divide this uh, vertical line, again the 5 equal uh, segments. So again the same procedure I am going to use. So let's uh, draw the inclined line first. Okay, let's mark uh, 5 equal uh, segments on this line. You can use any uh, dimension for this one. Then uh, join these two points. like this then i'm going to draw the parallel line passing through this uh, point to this line again i'm going to use the uh, set square okay uh, in this way we can divide this uh, line into a five equal number of segments if you divide this line into five then again we have to divide this vertical line also uh same number of uh, segments okay okay then next step uh, let's mark this point as the uh, point one point two point three uh, point four uh, point five then again uh, this point uh, let's mark it as uh, point one uh, point two uh, point three uh, point four and the point five okay then uh, next step uh, we are going to draw the straight line uh passing through uh c point and uh, passing through each and every point here you can see like this okay this one is a very good one 
okay then next step the we are going to join this uh, d point and this point one and point two point three and point five let's uh, join this point also then this uh, horizontal line this is the intersection point so then uh, let's uh, mark this uh, intersection point uh, one one line this uh, line one line one so the line two this one the intersection point the three and uh, the intersection point then the other one intersection point then the last one so then by joining this uh, point uh, we can get the one quarter of uh, ellipse so i'm going to join these points Okay, uh, to complete the ellipse, uh, you have to uh, repeat this process. Okay, to divide this uh, line, you don't need to uh, divide it again. You can take the measurement like this. Then you can mark these points. Okay. Then the vertical distance, you can also you can take to a compass and mark. Okay, then uh, join these points. Okay, let's join these points. Then we have to repeat uh, this process for this uh, quadrant also. So again, I'm going to divide this. Uh, you can take this uh, length to the compass and mark the distance like this. But then uh, let's draw these uh, lines. Then uh, let's uh, draw these lines. Uh, okay. Then uh, next, uh, draw these lines uh, from the C point. Then let's mark these uh, points. Then let's join these points. Uh, we have to use extend. Uh, okay, here we have to extend this one. Up to here, the other point. Okay, now it's okay. Let's uh, join these points. Then uh, next one, this uh, quadrant. Then let's mark these points. The point. The point. And this is the point, the intersection of this point, and this is the point. Okay, then let's join these points. Okay, this is the completed ellipse. This is uh, how we are constructing the ellipse using the rectangle method. Okay, uh, thank you. See you next time.